In this video, we'll discover about home remedies if you have eczema. People with eczema are quick to look at creams to remedy the problem and these can be very helpful. However, the good news for eczema sufferers is there are a number of great products right in your home that can help with the treatment of itchy skin and reduce inflammation. Discuss any home treatment with your dermatologist before beginning. This chapter contains references to a number of healing baths. This refers to warm or lukewarm baths only. Hot water can irritate and dry out the skin. The healing properties of aloe vera have been known for thousands of years. It is especially soothing for the skin. Modern research has found that aloe vera is specifically helpful in reducing skin bacteria that can cause infection. As we have discussed, frequent itching and scratching can cause the skin to become infected. Aloe vera is excellent at relieving the itch-scratch cycle. Aloe vera is a medicinal plant, and people can get the healing gel directly from the aloe vera leaves. It is also available at health food and specialty stores. When purchasing aloe vera, read the label and make sure it contains no perfumes, alcohol, or other additives which can irritate the skin. Apple cider vinegar has so many excellent properties, some consider it a miracle liquid. It has been used since Hippocrates as a disinfectant. Its effect on eczema has not yet been confirmed. Its effect on eczema has not yet been confirmed. However, it is believed to have potential. The fact is, normal skin has an acidic barrier with a pH level of below 5.0. The pH level in eczema sufferers is generally higher. This means that the acid barrier isn't working properly to protect the skin against moisture loss and the invasion of foreign organisms. Some people believe apple cider vinegar may be useful in restoring the skin's natural pH balance. Before beginning any apple cider vinegar treatment on your skin, you should consult with your dermatologist who can perform a patch test. With your doctor's approval, here are some ways that apple cider vinegar can fit into your eczema curing regime. Take an apple cider vinegar bath. Fill your bathtub with water and add 2 cups of ACV. Soak in the tub for at least 20 minutes. Rinse and follow up with a moisturizer. We have discussed using wet wraps soaked in water to enhance the absorption of moisture into the skin. You can add a tablespoon of ACV to the wrap for added healing properties. Protect the wet wrap with a dry bandage and leave on overnight. This may sound like a strange eczema remedy, but it has been studied at the Mayo Clinic. Adding just one fourth cup of bleach to your bath can help improve the symptoms of eczema. Bleach kills bacteria. Imagine where your hands have been when you give in to the urge to scratch. It's a bacteria army invading your inflamed skin the way General Sherman invaded Georgia. Bleach gets rid of harmful bacteria. Soak in the bleach bath for 10 minutes, then dry and moisturize well. Bleach is drying, so you want plenty of moisture sealed into your skin. Don't take more than two bleach baths a week. Oatmeal as a remedy of skin diseases, anxiety, and sleep goes back to ancient times, more than 3,000 years ago. It was used by Egyptians and Romans. During the 19th century, oatmeal baths were used in the treatment for skin inflammation. Colloidal oatmeal is regular oatmeal ground to a fine powder which mixes well with water. A 2012 study revealed how colloidal oatmeal can bring needed relief to itchy skin. The study also showed that colloidal oatmeal can be helpful in maintaining the skin's normal pH level. Stir a cup of colloidal oatmeal into your bath water. Soak for approximately 10 minutes. Rinse off with regular water and immediately apply moisturizer. Colloidal oatmeal is available at health food stores. Or you can use regular oatmeal and grind it to a powder in a food processor. It won't mix with water unless ground to a very fine consistency. Also, look for creams and moisturizers containing colloidal oatmeal. Coconut oil has a great many uses and one of them is as a moisturizer to relieve symptoms of dry skin and itching. While many creams and lotions have additives, coconut oil is pure and natural. It's filled with a fatty acid that is extremely helpful for your entire body, including your skin. A 2014 study showed that using coconut oil for two months proved especially hydrating for children suffering from eczema. The natural oil has anti-inflammatory properties to help heal red and infected skin areas. It also decreases bacteria. This is important since eczema rashes can easily become infected. You can apply solid coconut oil directly to the skin as you would any cream. Do this twice each day or whenever you feel itchy. For a scaly scalp, 
melt the coconut oil and rub into the scalp as you would any conditioner. Leave on the scalp for about 5 minutes, then rinse. A 2004 study in the Journal of Wound Care confirmed that a mixture of equal parts honey, olive oil, and beeswax makes an excellent anti-itch cream for eczema. This treatment is not recommended for children under the age of 1. Unprocessed honey fights bacteria and inflammation, two large triggers for eczema. This natural oil is derived from leaves of the Australian tea tree. It has been found to be more effective in treating eczema than the zinc oxide found in many eczema ointments. Its anti-inflammatory properties are extremely soothing to irritated skin and can reduce the redness and itching that is at the heart of eczema. Allergies serve as a trigger for eczema, and tea tree oil decreases the effects of allergic reactions. It has been found that, while high doses of tea tree oil produce excellent results in abating the symptoms of eczema, small doses have not been proven as effective. When using tea tree oil, it's important to mix it with a few drops of carrier oil, such as coconut oil. Tea tree oil is very potent, so use a low dosage whenever possible. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.